My name is Sydney Solberg, and I started coming to Faith Bridge probably when I was about four years old. So I've been going for about 13, 14 years. So when applying for college, you have to write an essay. <laughs> and um, the essay topic was, what has shaped your life to the way it is today? And so the first thing I thought of was, of course, my church because of how um, impactful it has been on my life. I had remembered a sermon that Tyler Riley did one time at a leader training my junior year, and it was about a greenhouse. Point Break has its motto, which is love God, embrace community, and live life to the fullest. You know, we, we want growth to happen, but ultimately we're not the ones that bring about growth, the Lord is. And so we want to be an environment that is geared from the worship to the teaching to uh, the activities. Um, is this a greenhouse? Is this a healthy space uh, where people can come and experience community and ultimately the Lord can bring about growth? And so I wrote about how my church was like a greenhouse and I can give I'll give Tyler full credit for that because he you know really inspired me to write that the undervalued greenhouse is a building made of glass every plant needs an appropriate environment to develop and grow the intricate surroundings of the greenhouse fit each plant so specifically and meaningfully it proclaims protection comfort and encouragement my church is my greenhouse I have grown up there and it has shaped my life in ways that I wouldn't have experienced without it yeah, I remember Cindy getting plugged back in and, and really becoming a big part of Point Break and a part of the student ministry. I know she had been for a while and had really started to kind of get connected again. And I kind of saw that from especially around the summertime, we would do this thing every Thursday called Lunch and Learn, where we would just crack open the Bible together. And she was there almost every week and was just really kind of craving that time of community, uh, craving that time in the Word. It would always refresh me. It was always, um, everyone was always so welcoming. I was like a seed that was later transformed into a leader, who is now a mission-driven, kind-hearted disciple of Jesus Christ. So I started the road when I was in fifth grade with a hunger journey, and I didn't really know what mission was, but I slowly started to really enjoy it. I realized what mission was really about, and. Um, how it was growing us and now this is not just for me for me to have fun it's this is for this is God's plan and this is where he wants me to be it was very noticeable when Sydney would come back from a road journey just she was very excited and very on fire about the things that she had learned and the things that she was eager and ready to apply the church watered me with care in an environment filled with joy and love providing me with fertilizing leaders who I will always remember due to their indescribable wisdom the interns really were that like water and nutrients that the plants would have in a greenhouse. Like that is what really kickstarted my just passion and like my relationship with Jesus was those interns and how they taught me and everything. They moved me beyond devotion and into action. This impacted me so much that I wish to spread this water, fertilization and nurturing to other blooming seeds new to the greenhouse like I once was. The church taught me that relationships with people thrive with importance in the world, no matter what you are doing. That is why my leaders had such an impact on me. The Atlanta, the rattle trip was my favorite. And I just wanted to continue doing ministry with kids because it was out of my comfort zone and I wasn't sure how I was gonna do. But when I was put in it with these kids, I did not wanna leave. I really just prayed about getting an opportunity to continue that ministry and like I was like Lord like I don't know how it's gonna look but I want to continue like doing this here whether it's at Faith Bridge or somewhere like please help me find an opportunity. The Christian Church encourages people to do what they love and to be living out the kingdom of God and what they are called to do. My joy and love rest in teaching people that will soon move into my place at their own greenhouse where they will find their passion whatever that may be an FFA, a church, a school, a company, a sports field. I cannot imagine, you know, what I would be doing or what my interests would be or anything if I didn't go to Faith Bridge and have that solid community. My hope and goal would be that when they leave this place, when they leave FSM, when they leave Point Break, when they go over to whatever's next, that when they move to that next place, they're looking to see where they can plug in. And they now know, these are my giftings. This is what I'm passionate about. This is what I have experience in, and now I want to play a part in the overall body. Therefore, I'm incredibly blessed and thankful for the growth my church has given me. We are not just a world full of people, but a community created to grow together. 